Oh, look at this one. This is a Fujitsu 4.37 gigabyte hard disk drive from around 1996. I tried to access it through the computer, it just wouldn't do anything. Uh, it would just make some funny noises, so I guess this one's broken. So, we can go ahead and have a bit of fun with it. I mean, I would throw it away anyway, but, uh, you know, let's just uh, see what we can do with this one. Make a video with it, I guess. <laughs> now, this is a handy device right here. This is uh, part of uh, the CD-ROM external enclosure that I have. And in this situation, it gives us a handy dandy power supply. Let's just power this up and uh, hear what kind of noises it makes. I guess you can hear it just repeats the uh, the noise that it uh, that it. Um initially made this kind of accessing noise. It's just in some kind of a loop. Anyway, turn that off. I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top cover off and uh, see if we can run this without the cover. See what uh, what is going on inside of there. But as you can see, there we have the magic. So, let's go ahead and see if there is any more magic if we power this up. Well, that's definitely interesting. <laughs> Quite interesting to see that arm moving across the disc. Magic. Of course, that's the uh, it's a magnetic drive. There are some strong magnets right there, and uh, those, in combination with uh, with some coils on that arm assembly, are making that whole thing move. It does look like magic. I really have to say. Let's see, making a little bit of wind. Interestingly, I can actually slow it down. Okay. I thought it was going to shut down for a moment, you know, some kind of an overload condition, but I guess it's not that clever. Well, there we have it, inside of a hard disk drive. Okay, I've taken out the screws in the center, so uh, we can uh, take that off. First disc comes out, and uh, as I found out uh, in the comments to the 3.5 inch hard disk drive video that uh, I made a while ago, this is actually glass. So, i got a nice little ring right here. That might actually be useful for something. And out comes the next one. Made a bit of a funny noise there. Another ring. And... Let's see. I guess this is going to get stuck. Well, let, you know what, let's just see if this is still going to start up. Let's see what it does. Ah, 
that's definitely not the kind of noise you want to hear out of a hard disk drive. Let's see if we can get it to turn this tape counter. No, it's running too fast. Or, well, I guess the center part is not spinning, so that's not going to do anything. Well, I still haven't given up the idea of having this thing turning a tape counter, so let's see if, it, uh, if it'll turn this one. See what happens. It did. Kind of interesting how that uh, is now drawing a line. Well, we still need to erase some of the data off of here, so let's see if we can do that. Well, that sounded just as horrible in real life as it uh, did on camera. That actually, uh, that actually gave it a very nice pattern, I have to say. Anyway, I guess that's enough of that. Okay, I'm just going through a bunch of old hard drives. And uh, so you can see I took apart uh, that uh, external CD-ROM drive enclosure thing. And that gives me a handy IDE to USB adapter. I came across this thing again. This is the 80 gigabyte Excel store made in China hard disk drive that I had in one of my videos and where I said that uh, I really didn't want it to keep it in the computer because it was just sounding, it was just sounding weird. And I thought I'd uh, take a chance and demonstrate this to you very quickly because this is going into the trash. I mean, it is an 80 gigabyte hard disk drive and it is working perfectly fine, as far as I can tell, but I'm just not going to uh, trust it. Let's turn it on and uh, listen to that thing. That sounds weird. So that's it. The Excel store made in China hard disk drive. Let's turn it off. No funky noises when turning it off. Well, what we have right here are two Seagate hard disk drives. One is a 4.3 gigabytes, and the other one is a 2.5 gigabytes. So, these really have absolutely no use to me. They are just way too small. And all they've been doing for the past years is taking up space. So when I get rid of them, now what I could do is to just bring them to the dump. However, the problem is, there are people that take them from the dump again. I mean, I have done that before, and uh, <laughs> the thing is, I once found a computer that had, of course, its hard disk drive still in place, and they had not even gone through the trouble of deleting any of their personal data. I mean, believe it or not, there was enough information left on that computer to steal somebody's complete identity. So, now I don't have that kind of information on these two drives. I did check what's on there. However, I have absolutely no idea what you might be able to restore if you try. So, we're just going to do the very, very safe way and uh, we're going to use 
the hammer. And yes, I know how much some of you like the hammer, and I am afraid to say the big hammer is currently out of order. It broke. So we'll have to try a little one, but uh, let's see. Here we have hard disk drive disposal done right. Okay, that should be enough, and I have to say, it's pretty pretty high quality. <laughs> it's not easy to destroy these things, so yeah, it's really a shame that they are so small in size. I mean, if they were a hundred gigabytes or something, I would keep them, but this is too small. Well, let's see what's inside of this Excel Store China Sensation hard disk drive. I took out the screws. Very, 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 very cheap feel to them. The, the threads for the screws weren't even done properly. And there we have the inside. Cover has kind of a cheap feel to it. Put that to the side. Right, let's power this up and uh, see what it uh, what it does and if it still makes those funky noises. And uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's technical progress and not cheapness. This one, uh, you've probably just seen the video with that uh, Fujitsu hard disk drive, the six gigabyte drive or whatever that was, that had three disks. This one, 80 gigabytes, has only one disk. So, uh, that's interesting how they made that work. But Well, I guess that's technical progress. Okay, let's power this on and see what it does. Of course, this one's not broken, so the head is not going to do anything. Turn that off. I really don't like that clunk noise at the beginning, but apparently that's normal. Anyway, we're just going to do some quick erasing on this, and uh, then I'm just going to throw this away. Okay, that was easy. Look at that pattern. That, uh, that does look pretty interesting. Well, I guess that's the end of our little video collection. So, thank you for watching, and always remember, when it comes to your personal data, it is better to be safe than sorry.